Hi, my name is Mike Zuckerman, Cuplix Chief Marketing Officer, and I'm going to share a brief view of our vision for the future, the evolution of the data integration market, current state, course trajectory, and the future state that we'll find which will impact all of us, whether customers today or prospects in the future. Cuplix is a data integration and data management company. We're uniquely leveraged by special technology such as advanced data virtualization, the fact that our system requires no programming or SQL, just high-level formula building. Uh, if you're familiar with Excel, you can integrate applications within our system. It's that simple. Uh, we have many customers around the world, thousands of users. Please refer to our website to find out more about our customers and our case studies. This is the universe in which we find customers today and certainly tomorrow. They have to bridge applications from the legacy enterprise up to the cloud and there's a, an abundance of new applications springing forth in areas like NoSQL where new database structures provide compelling value and hence are brought into the enterprise mix and now all of this must be integrated so that the data about customers and HR and vendors and products and all the other key components of your organization can be preserved and shared amongst the different application systems. This is true data mobility. And this is the challenge that organizations face today, how to bridge this gap. There are tactical fixes to this, such as integrating any two applications, and there are complex and difficult fixes using the legacy MDM paradigm, certainly where several major apps can be aligned and synchronized. And this is the world that we have to support. Fundamentally, today, first-generation technology is powering this picture. Most of the customers in the world today are still struggling with ETL, which is fundamentally a limiting technology based upon a 20-year-old problem, which was loading the data warehouse. And that's the departure point for most customers today. If you look at the market, you'll see that there's $3 billion worth of data integration, depending on how you carve it out, whether you add data virtualization, where you put MDM. There's another perhaps a billion dollars now for data quality, and certainly several billion in IT services. If you look at trends and metrics in the market, um, it's moving towards the cloud. There's a lot of cloud deployments possible, certainly for the mid-tier organizations. Mid-tier customers do not have big legacy applications to worry about. They are not concerned with the branding of the large integration vendors. They want simple, fast, and easy solutions to use, and they're serviced by uh, providers such as VARs, and this is the place where we see a lot of activity. Um, it's clear from where the analysts view the market that cloud is an important component. You have to address cloud. You have to address relational, object, XML, and NoSQL. Some of the in, uh, announcements of late by some of the largest integration vendors have certainly followed us as the lead vendor and first vendor to announce an integration strategy for NoSQL uh, data structures. Um, and then look at Forrester's statement, June 15, 2011, integration by ETL creates data quality problems and delays information delivery. That's very, very explicit and clear. All of the evolution can be summarized in what we see as a data integration technology curve. This technology curve um, represents a broad array of how I view the analyst consensus and really maps to where not only the industry has been, but where it's going. 80 to 90 percent of everything in use today is first generation technology. And, and being optimistic, I'd say it's from the early 90s. It's all about loading the data warehouse and it's been adapted to everything else. It's ETL, it's relational, it's a software instance, not a persistent server. Um, the, the security in it is the fact that it's connected to two apps, so you better be empowered to do that. And the data may be protected in flight with encryption, but there's no leverage to a scalable model such as LDAP or anything like that. It's a pipe. You put data in one end and you get it out the other, and mostly you're moving files. That is the state of the market today. That is what most customers do. So the applications have moved forward. The internet has happened. So many things have moved at light speed. And yet data integration has been held back and innovation has been stifled by the fact that the professional services business models have captured the innovative software and subsumed it in favor of the PS revenue. In 2000, we saw the emergence of second generation data integration products. Here we really saw things like ETL, uh, uh, springing GUI user interfaces, right? Uh, wire diagrams, certainly the, the diagrams that show the integration of the schemas. While today we think you know, those are 
are, are, are perhaps primitive, that still is state-of-the-art for many customers and still beyond the reach of most of the customers that are using first-generation product. In 2010, third-generation products arrived, certainly with Qplix first-generation virtual data manager, which is on-premise, and QCloud, which is now cloud-based. The notion of the persistent metadata server um, has reached full speed. Um, I remember waking up several years ago as a, as a development uh, executive, hearing about application servers and then you know going right back to sleep, but yet two years later waking up and, and, and purchasing three instances of application servers that day because an application server was fundamentally a component missing from vendor operating systems that provided a lot of advantage to deployment, especially as the web emerged. And the persistent metadata server really fills that role and can do things for data integration, for master data management, for BI and data warehousing that no other architecture can support as well or as elegantly. Data virtualization technology makes it go. The early generation of data virtualization is somewhat primitive, but supports relational paradigms in the, in the data warehouse sufficiently. But the advanced data virtualization that we bring to market with a persistent metadata server supports objects and XML and NoSQL and has powers and capability and automation not seen in any earlier product. Discovery is automated, operations are automated, um, a business user can implement an integration from beginning to end and all they need are the passwords and permissions to connect to the two or three or four applications they want to integrate. Relational object XML, no SQL, it's all there and of course uh, being able to mix cloud and on-premise is critical. So where is the future? Where do you go from here? Look at the state of your networks and look at what Tivoli did. Years ago, Tivoli had a vision, followed by many other vendors, that you could see the state of your network in one place. It wasn't a bunch of disparate pipes and connection points that, that connected these servers together, but that you could look down from the top and see how the whole thing um, played together. Well, that's really the next generation. Um, that's our view and vision for our NGen platform. The next generation of data integration that will reach the market and deploy fully gives you an enterprise-wide view. It's ETL and data virtualization working together. It's a network topology. It's stateful. It has lineage. It lets you see today what is the performance across my enterprise of every data integration instance I have, whether it's for master data management, whether it's for transactions, whether it's for near time or real time or tactical integration or customer data harmonization, or it's running on ETL or it's running on a persistent metadata server. How is it performing? How many transactions happened? I, the CFO, want to know in my global enterprise with, with N instances of SAP, today, how many integrations happened against my SAP ERP systems of record? Which systems touched it? How many records did they move? How many of those records failed to integrate and for what reason? What were the issues? What is the state of data quality, which is usually one of those issues today, and how has it changed over time? How are my data governance rules being applied? Can I roll forward or roll back an integration where bad data rolled into one of my systems and it's now propagated itself across my enterprise? And of course the emergence of virtual master data management where you'll now be able to scale and start much more efficiently with the smallest corporation for an automated view of master data alignment and yet scale that implementation up to better support the largest corporation in the world, far better than any collection of legacy MDM hubs. This is a powerful technology based upon networking, based upon data virtualization, and it will change the face of master data management, make it far easier to deploy, and make the implementation of the technology pervasive across the global enterprise. Enterprise data virtualization is a unique technology that makes the third and fourth generation go. Uh, first data is virtualized. You can get to it in one place. It's in a consistent object dashboard. It's federated, though we use the term globalized. Federated, there's five things from five sources I want to put together. Globalized really allows you to virtually put these things together and get from one source five things that we've created in our virtual world for you. And of course, presentation, that whatever data you're pulling from whatever source in whatever way, you can put it in the right format for the consuming app, whether it's BI, your data warehouse, data integration, or master data management. What's going to happen in this future? The key word here is convergence. You must expect convergence between data integration, 
data services. Many people look at data virtualization and limit it to BI and other applications. It's a powerful technology. And so data integration, data services, data virtualizations, all of this is converging together. Data quality. Most independent data quality vendors will not survive. If you're buying an independent niche data quality tool, I don't expect those vendors to stay in business. Um, I see the automation because of the power of data virtualization of many data quality tasks at much lower cost and much higher ease of implementation. We've already added data quality to our system and we have the functionality of, of probably 20 or 30 vendors that we've seen on the vendor lists at a fraction of their price and we can do it because data virtualization makes it easy. I expect a convergence and a unified theory for data integration and master data management. Data integration is the connection of perhaps two points. It could be tactical, it could be strategic. Master data management aligns certain kinds of data, such as customer and HR. This is one continuum. All of these things should be additive and flow together if you, the customer, decide you want to do that. And then, of course, virtual master data management, which can support and integrate any of the legacy architectures or take you forward a new way. Data governance also will grow the automation and eliminate a lot of the manual process that makes it ineffective. Finally, expect persistent servers to flow all of the stateful information about all of this integration and quality into one enterprise dashboard. Cloud, on-premise, it doesn't matter and give you in your organization a view of data integration never before possible. If you're a mid-tier company and you don't want to know that much about it, you'll have just enough information to know that your Salesforce and your NetSuite are working together and that you're getting good data quality from the systems that you have. But if you're a large enterprise, you may want to see how your 14 instances of SAP are working together with another 20 applications that you have across the business units that you span around the world. All of that is possible. We're bringing those products to market today. And we look forward to serving you uh, in the best capacity possible to make this work. This is the vision for the future. One dashboard to the enterprise for integration Everything can be brought together. Everything is auditable, compliant, stateful, and gives you the lineage you need to be successful. Thank you for spending time with me today on the QPLIX vision for the future.